I have a question. Am I gonna shoot you because you're in front of me? You know what? I could I have a couple of extra spots to move, don't I? Another body shot right there. Oh, with the crit! Yo! Jelly Boy is done. By the way, that little detail right there, those are um human remains. Alright, it is time to check if your cheeky is indeed in your breaky. As we check out the follow-up to Atom RPG here in Atom RPG Trudograd. This right here is the follow-up to the first game, which we have covered in the past on the channel beforehand. This right here is basically your classic RPG post-apocalypse in the old-school Fallout style. I enjoyed item RPG quite a bit myself. I wish I had more time in my free time to actually play the entire thing through, but what little I showed up in the channel I thoroughly enjoyed, so I'm very excited about checking this up here as a follow-up. This game takes a while to get going. There's a lot of story, a lot of dialogue, a lot of exposition. So for the premise of this video alone, I apologize for doing this. I will be speeding that up a little bit. I'll be cutting some corners here and there because I want to show you gameplay. <laughs> I want to actually show you some of the maps, maybe get into some combat as well. If I basically take this as the game gives it to me, we'll be lucky to get out of the first map alone. So I apologize. I normally don't like to rush things, but in order to kind of show you more of the actual game, we're going to take a couple of corners here and there. Apologies for that. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we'll be doing is either creating a character, which will essentially go skill by skill, stat by stat. Again, that's going to take a while to get going as well. So instead of that, I will be selecting just one of the pre-made characters I have for you here. And obviously, we have the chance to import a character as well from the first game if we want to. I kind of wanted to go with this giant, big man baby looking guy here with his sailor outfit. It's, <laughs> it's so amusing to me. Mikhail. But you know what? Let's go with... Vadim. And this will tell us everything about him, so otherwise if we created our own character, we'd have to deal one by one with all this stuff over here, and it's gonna take a while. So as I mentioned, I want to show you guys more of the game. Attention, Major. Everything you are about to hear is highly classified. We choose you for this briefing due to your activities in the Central Waste two years ago. The information about the asteroid you delivered upon return from Krasnoznamenny greatly agitated the Central Command. Our science teams did not reach a solid conclusion, but all of them agreed that the potential impact of the asteroid would be devastating to all life in the wastes. This is why Central Command organized a special research group with goals of studying the nature of the problem and finding possible solutions. For the last one and a half years, the best minds of Atom worked on this problem. Now it seems that, despite the current state of science and technology in the wastes, a solution has been reached. East of the central waste and our base of operations, there is a city called Trudograd. Once it was home to a special strategic manufacturing facility, the Inverter Factory, which was ran by a certain Professor Goryachev. As you know, Trudograd survived the war much better than most cities and towns of our motherland. Thus, it is possible that the facility still stands or even operates, protected by the city walls. Alright, so that scene keeps going for a while. That's one of the shortcuts I said we'll be taking. Uh, essentially gives you a rundown on Atom RPG, the first game. Tells you exactly how you transition from that to this point. But the main premise as well of this game, which is, there's an asteroid that's gonna collide here with the world and we're trying to see if we can kind of keep that from happening. I mean, it's bad enough we're in the post-apocalypse as it is, right? So, this will be our main goals here. The missing professor, according to Atom's most recent intel, Professor Goryachev, is listing it living at number 9, Kolo Kolotushkin Street <laughs> in Trudograd. It's not much, but it's still a clue. And we also have the scrap quarter. The railgun itself, which we need to shoot down this asteroid. As far as I can ascertain, the legendary railgun was developed at the Inven Inventor Factory. I need to visit the site and confirm the rumors are true. The factory should be somewhere in the scrap quarter. So first things first, um, he mentioned, uh, where's my hat and where is my backpack? We have indeed the backpack right there. You want to pick that up, my good sir? There you got a duffel bag there and my hat is going to be right here. I've already played like the first hour and a half of this game, so it's good because I can kind of speed as long show as the important parts here. So again, I, I don't want to make this too rushed, but if I don't rush it a little bit, Basically, the entire cutscene we just watched, along with this here, would have been the entire of the video. Believe me, it takes a while to get going. Um, we have Steel Breastplate, we'll go ahead and equip that as well. And we can automatically see it on our character over there. And it's a little flash that kind of freaked me out. <laughs> and Duffel Bag, carry a bit more, very good, and that's about it, right? We have ourselves a knife. That's not the knife. 
Okay, so we got the room key, we have a rifle, and a handgun. Oh, boy, B. So you know what? I kind of like the starter already more than the other one. I was struggling with the other bill when I first started, man. And, oh, right, it wants me to equip the gun, the, the key, so we could pop open the, the lock here. For some reason, it was locked from the inside. We could not escape. <laughs> Unless we had the key. They locked us in here with the key, oddly enough. You wanna close this behind us? You know, I, I, I appreciate my privacy. Alright, there you go. So, let's step outside over here. This is one of the first things you can kind of do. This gives you a lot of experience, right? This is like a magician. This guy wants to know how he's doing his tricks. You can't figure it out. Then this guy disappears. It probably leads to something more in the future. I like how I'm also walking around with my macro at hand, too. Like, this isn't freaking anybody out, right? <laughs> I mean, considering the times, though, yeah, I guess it probably is a bit more of a normal circumstance. Like, in reality, though, like, if this was me, like, walking down the street and I see a guy just walking with a handgun, I'd be like, oh, okay. Hmm, it's time to, um, cross the street. Maybe even cross the town. This is a minefield. Uh, I don't have to really tell you what happens when you walk through a minefield, but hey, just for the purpose of science. Bad idea. There are mines here. I need to be careful. Oh, the leg went as well. Hey, uh, buddy, did you know there's a lot of mines over here? Go on, go on, go on. Don't just stand there. <laughs> go on over there. You are quite the scoundrel, you rascal. Here is our world map. Scrap quarter, Trudegrad outskirts. Welcome to the map of Trudegrad. Press on the available locations to go there. Right now, we got places to go. Let's go to the scrap quarter, and we have a random encounter on the way. I did not run into one single random encounter when I played beforehand, but now I am, so this should be intriguing. You see a lost wallet lying in the dirty snow. It's strange that no one picked this thing up yet, since it's pretty obvious looking. You take it from the ground and open it to find 50 rubles and a condom inside. Should you keep the condoms of the wallet? Well, I mean, I know one thing I'm keeping for sure. The rubles falcon, yeah. I mean, come on. You're not gonna pick up a condom here in the freaking wasteland? Who's, who's manufacturing condoms in this world? That's probably before everything went down, and I don't think you're better off just going raw dog. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. Who said money doesn't grow on trees? That may not be true, but it sure does grow uh, does grow in the yellow snow piles of Trudograd. Passersby who notice you finding a wall look at you with envy as you pocket it and move on. Ha ha ha, buddies! 50 rubles and a condom to my name. I'm the happiest guy in the world. I wanted to get here as soon as possible because I know it's a guaranteed fight situation. I did this fight melee, though. <laughs> Let's just say it's not a melee fight you want to do. Um, I had to use, like, the help of, like, the guards in the area to kind of get through it. But now that we actually have a gun and a rifle, I feel more confident about it. Which is really weird because, like, I had to, like, you know, finagle my way to kind of get through this fight. Otherwise, it's probably something you want to leave for later if you're melee, maybe. Who knows? Naturally, only one factory building still stands. I need to interview the locals. Everybody eventually tells you to get in touch with um, this fine couple right over here. So that's what we're doing. A thin woman watches a mustache fellow pace around in the entrance of a small house. She periodically shakes her head and sighs. An irritated thin smile was dead set on her lips. Oh well. Hey there, what's going on? What? Oh, you better ask my hubby about that. Right, honey? So, let's talk to him about what's happening here. Sir, sir, please don't walk on by. I need your help. First, tell me what you know about a factory that was here. I'll be glad to tell you everything I know, but only after you help me out. You see, I have a wee problem. Nothing too scary, it's just that some flesh-eating jellies called aspics have infected my home and I'm in need of a hero to get rid of them. Infested, huh? Tell this young man why our home is infested. Can we please not discuss our personal business in front of strangers? When do we get home? Alright, this information might be important to the task. Why did they infest your house? Oh uh, well, you know, mutants are everywhere nowadays. They just appeared one day and started. Don't listen to him. He brought the creature inside himself. He was trying to breed them and sell their offspring. And it was an amazing plan! Who would have guessed they'd escape their cages? Oh, they're formless lumps of jelly. A dog with a head injury could see a cage wouldn't hold them. You put him in a cage, that's great. I missed that part with the first time I played through. We'll help him out just because we need information about this factory too. Oh, thank you. I'll open the door for you, but just please be careful. These little monsters are more dangerous and less adorable than they look. Give them hell, slugger. Thanks a lot, bro. Let's, um, pop the soap and we're gonna be ready to run though if we have to. 
Hi. <laughs> now, if you're thinking this is the only guy you gotta deal with, he's the offspring. There's like two big ass adults in there too. Um, we don't want to necessarily handle a melee confrontation here with this, so let me run off if I can. I do want to get help from the other boy, the guard from the town. There he is. So he's coming over here to help us out, thankfully. I mean, he's trying to protect this town. As we apparently let chaos loose here. You run off. He might take a pot shot or two here. Nice, good crit, boy. Cool. We have a little bit of room now, so we can start capping this guy if we want to. See how much damage we can do. So, we have a chance to hit at 41. That is absolutely terrible. Um, let's see here. I believe we could go into aimed as well. Now, once we go into aimed, we can see what we can hit. 79 for the headshot. I mean, it's a blob. He doesn't really have a head, but, but sure. Let's go with the headshot. 10 damage as well. That's kind of essential what I was doing with the melee knife, now that I think about it. So, it's not that great. But, um... It's all we can do. With the last two, I am retreating away, because he's gonna probably come over here. I don't want him knocking me down, is what I'm really worried about. Here comes Mama and Papa. Thank you. You killed him before he got to me. He essentially, they have this power where they can knock your ass over, and if they do... It's kind of like stun locks you to death, so... You don't want to get knocked down by these boys. So now Mama and Papa are here, you've killed their jelly son, how dare you? Well, let's, um, pull out our rifle here. How far can we... 89, yo, it is a rifle after all. Let's go into aim mode if we can. And 94 for the body, why not? 28 or I'll take it. He is now injured. And we probably don't have enough for another shot, I would say, right? 6 AP to take a shot, we only got 4 left over, I can switch over to the gun and take a shot with that, but we're not gonna hit anyway, so you know what? Let's just end this turn right here, you guys move forward a bit, I should have moved back, technically speaking, but hey. Oh, my boy's got the grenades! Oh, man, when he, when I did this off camera, he threw a grenade and it stunned both of them, and they were basically there for the kill eventually. Um, alright. Almost dead, and slightly injured. Now, I have a question. Am I gonna shoot you because you're in front of me? You know what, I could I have a couple of extra spots to move, don't I? Let me just make sure I don't cap you by mistake, because you've been actually really big help for me right now. Another body shot right there. Oh, with the crit! Yo! Jelly Boy is done. By the way, that little detail right there, those are, um, human remains. So I, I thought that's like, that's a cool little, um, I guess, art design for this jelly monster who apparently eats humans and stuff. He's like the blob. And their turn for that one. Comes forward. Oh, you might get knocked down, dude. Be careful. Capping him and it's over. Alright. So again, this went really, really well, believe me, with melee, before I found out that he could actually use his help too. I was just like, I'm gonna go in there and slash these guys with my... Soviet issued knife, and I just got wrecked so badly. It wasn't even funny. So that's over with. Let's go ahead now and. Can I thank you? No. Anything about this situation here? No. <laughs> no questions, huh? I guess they're used to these aspects coming every year and like just uh, causing chaos over there. I'm curious about. L let me see the inside of this guy's place before we go and ask him about this factory now. Can we actually see the cage where he apparently had him? He put jellies- yeah, look at that, he put jellies in this cage right here. Like, what do you expect to happen? He's a gelatinous creature. You need, like, glass at the very least for this guy. That's funny. Um, is there anything over here to loot? Uh, maybe. I mean, since they're not here, I might as well take this time- I'm not sure if there's, um, somebody who could watch me stealing, but I'm gonna go ahead and close that just in case. Let's see what we got here. Empty can and empty bottle. Seems useless, but we can probably use that to craft something, so I'll take it here for now. So for the shift, for instance, we could use the forks and the knives, tape, brick, and something else to make a shift, so yeah. Even though the items seem useless, they could probably be used for something early on that might help you out. And over here we have a Siggy! Mm -hmm. And another Gundam! Well, we we know... <laughs> we know these um, this couple was knocking boots here whenever, uh... I guess maybe before the slime epidemic hit their house. They don't have any kids, so I guess maybe those condoms do work after all, who knows? Please tell me the aspects are no longer occupying my home! If those mutants have their own afterlife, they're enjoying it now. Really? Uh, amazing! Oh, although I'm saddened, that, I'm saddened that my noble pets died, I've come up with a new breeding plan for them now. And this time, it's gonna go off without a hitch! No risk, only rewards! Yeah, I don't doubt it. You gonna pay me for what? Ah, oh, yeah, sure thing. It's 300 rubles, okay? Now, is there a boy... High enough with the speech craft for this? No. Is her boy high enough with bartering? Yes! 
You're right about that. Let me give you a hundred more. As well as a can of delicious condensed milk. That must be enough, am I right? Of course I am. Yeah, it's fine. Give it over. Here you go, thanks again. And tell me, what's the fate of the inventor factory? Uh, most folks never questioned what happened to that place. They had other things to worry about. And nobody wanted to invite trouble by asking the authorities. But I investigated and I think it's safe to s share what I learned all these years ago. The factory was disassembled and moved away from here by the former army general and current defense minister, Gleb Gorovit, or Vorovit. Now, why he did that and where it is now, I have no idea. You can ask him personally, except that no regular Joe can just walk into 7th Heaven. Tell me more about 7th Heaven. Uh, that's what we bottom feeders call the huge structure on top of the flat block roofs. Didn't you see it when you were approaching the city? It's a huge district built for those who rule us, and those who are rich enough to buy a life above the poverty and smog of city streets. It's forbidden to us regular folks. Well, is there a way to get in? Sure, you can either have parents who are important politicians or try serving in the city police. At a certain rank, policemen get a permit allowing them to visit the upper district. There is, however, a third way. Folks say... Mikhailik? Mikhailik! The owner of the Epiphanous Tavern is pretty good at forging entry permits. There's a lot of police in Trudograd, and no single Seventh Heaven guard knows every one of them person. So if your permit looks like the real deal, they'll let you in. No questions asked. Okay. Well, luckily for us, I know exactly who he's talking about. So, I will show you who that is, but we are almost out of time here, so I'm gonna start wrapping it up. But I want to go over to the other street, where it'll show us about, um... Well, the other quest that we do have, which is the railgun itself, right? Because here's the for the factor. Oh, no, the scientists, right? Yeah, they don't for the scientists. Um, did you guys drop anything, by the way? I don't think you did. No. At least you didn't drop anything when I fought him off camera. Nah, nothing here. And this is the guy I believe here you have to talk to. You have to go through some speech quests. We have to convince this guy about something, yada, yada, yada. You get into his good graces. And then you could, I guess, follow that quest, which is about the permit itself, right? Let's come on over to Katushkin Street. I don't think I went here off camera. This will be kind of new to me. I just want to see what it looks like, and then we'll start wrapping it up. But as I mentioned, all the information for this will be down below. You don't necessarily have to play the first one, but... It won't hurt you if you know the lore and the story, you know, you'll probably pick up a lot more stuff that way, but either way, it's still an awesome, awesome game. Adam RPG, I just wish I had more time to play it in my own time. And look at that, I'm trying to get to show you another area and I get attacked by a pack of rabid dogs. After the next turn, trouble awaits in front of you, walks out menace the angry gang of mad dogs. Chatting them up won't work, there is no time to think. Stealth, avoid the encounter, 0% chance, oh good, I'm glad I'm happy with that. <laughs> Stealth, chance on my part. And survival? Chance 28%, try to run away. We failed. How many wild dogs are you gonna actually throw my way to is what I wonder. We got one boy, two boy, three boy, three very, very bad boys by the look of it. I, I can't, oh, no, there's another one over here unless I've somehow spun myself around. It's a possibility. So can I just sneak out? You could probably just kill one of these guys if you're into combat. And then sneak out, because the exit's right there, as a matter of fact. I'm curious about that. Let's see what happens. Can I just walk out? Oh. Oh. I think I can. Well, you know. Let's still give it a try, though, right? Body shot? I feel really terrible, because he sat down and started scratching. He's still scratching himself. He's, he's dead now. Anyway, let's, um... Kolochkin screwed? Yes. Finish our journey here. Oh, check this out. Those are the, um, aspects we just fought, huh? That's actually kind of cool. Alrighty, and this is Kotushkan Street, where I guess we gotta look for the professor now at this spot, huh? Very cool. More of a railway system here. Awesome. Well, there you guys have it. Adam RPG through Dograd. As I mentioned, sorry for the way we kind of structured this video. I'm gonna end up structuring once I edit, but if I didn't do it this way, we were not getting out of the first town without doing much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. All the information for this will be down below. I'll catch you guys next time.